So I've just been talking and talking and talking and realized that I have not been recording. So now I'm gonna record. So I decided to get on here and show y'all what I'm doing with my hair. You might be like, what is her hair? Why is it straight back there? That's because I did a little bit of a blowout. Let me explain to you. Let me explain what's going on. Cause y'all know I don't really blow dry my hair. So what's happening is I like, I don't know, probably four weeks ago now, twisted my hair, like washed it, twisted it in some twists, went about my business and wore that for like two weeks. After that, I decided I wanted to get a little stretch. So I twisted it while it was dry to get a little length to it. And then I, my intention was to open it up shortly after that and um, <clears throat> do a style with the longer hair. But I didn't. I have actually kept it in these twists for like a week and a half, two weeks. And I decided today to try those styles again because I had done an updo with... Um, with texture it was really cute i'll see if i have a picture of it and i'll show you i might not but if i do i'll show you but it was like these bumps these like little knobs here and swept up it was really cute so i decided i wanted to try another updo um, with a bit more length and see if i can get the shape to just do something different so because you know you can do more with it depending on whether it's um longer shorter stretched you know, not stretched, the, the styles depend on that. So I decided to blow it out a little bit. It is dry, um, it is dirty. I am not putting oil on it. I'm not gonna burn my hair. I know how to manage my hair. So I'm not putting tons of heat on it, it's on warm. And what I'm doing is I'm just holding the hair like this and then blowing it with warm heat for like 10 to 20 seconds, then letting it go. It's pretty stiff, I think. I mean, it's natural hair, so it moves. But I mean, it's real hair, it's human hair, so it does move, but it's definitely not silky and I'm not going for silky, so that's okay. But I decided, hey, while I'm doing this, why don't I do a length check? Because, hey, got hair out, got a stretch to it, do a length check and I'll let you guys see it. I check periodically and just look at it, but I figured I'd let you guys see it this time around. So, um, I feel like I'm still the same length that I'm pretty much always at, which is mid-back length. I had been on a quest to waist length years ago, and I was at mid-back length at the time when I went to Israel. Got to Israel, kept doing my routine, and I was on it, y'all, like washing every week, moisturizing regularly, um, always in an updo, my twisted updo. But um, I wasn't getting any past that length, and my initial assumption was it was because I had moved countries, didn't have the products that I needed. I also realized it was just going to be what it was until I got to a place where I could get more consistent products that would help me with moisture because the, the climate there is very different. Um, after a couple of years there, I just decided I'm going to wear outdos. I understand I'm going to compromise my hair a little bit, lose a couple of inches, probably at most, but it's okay. So sure enough, I think I lost like maybe an inch, not a whole lot um, while I was there. When we came back to the States, I decided to trim, but it actually turned into a cut. <laughs> I trimmed more than I intended, but that's okay um, because hair grows back. And so currently I am pretty much, I think, in that same place. But I decided that I would show you, not the same place after the cut, but the same place um, of where it seems to always tap out. So I'm kind of thinking that's my terminal length because when I was doing all the work, this is where it landed. Anyway, we'll see. I'm not going to 100% claim this terminal length, but... I don't know that I'm ready to put in all the work that's involved. Again, I just don't have the time to be doing like every Saturday washes anymore. I got bigger kids now. I yeah, you know, just mm. so anyway. So it comes to about here. I hope y'all can see that. <laughs> That's my mid-back length hair. I um, I, I feel like I'm like that close to waist length, but I just never get there. Here it is in the front. This is the back of my hair and where it hits in the front. It's kind of on this side, just at the side boob. 
this side kind of under boob. I don't know, I'm high waisted, so maybe. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that. I hope that you enjoyed that little length check show. When I get done with it all, I'll give you a little view of that too, okay?